Good evening folks and uh, welcome to uh, another project but uh, I'm not going to do a full video on this project uh, the reason why is because uh, you've already seen me do one I, will, I have got an overview that I will attach to uh, the video after this bit anyway which I sent to uh, our young friend uh, George, uh, George Fiddler because uh, I mentioned I was buying this and uh, I said I'd send him some video, some pictures, but I sent a video instead. So it's just ge generally an overview of the unit I got. What I actually got was uh, I, actually, I actually got a uh, a Bush uh, SRP thirty one C. It's the uh, brown and uh, brass one. I think they would describe it as. And uh, this is the actual deck out of it, the amplifier out of it's up here. Uh, the speaker grill is in amazing condition. Uh, you'll see it all on the video, that on the overview, that I'm going to attach. Um, but it's got the usual SRP problems. I've already tested the voltages on the rect from the rectifier into the circuit and it's, uh, it's, only, it's only making 70 about 76 75 volts so there's nowhere nowhere near enough there to drive it uh, so that's got to be done but of what I thought I'd do first folks I thought I would work on the deck now I'm not going to disassemble this it was stuck on 78 when I got it but that, that seems to have freed off that's all working now well it's was still you can see it lags you know it's but uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean all this, I'm going to clean the deck completely, this deck will come up mint folks, honestly, this is a lovely deck, and if I show you the underneath, and look at this, it's got supports on it, look, it's got supports on it, ready made, so you can stand it up and clean it, you know, these were designed to be serviced, weren't they, and look at the underneath for that, I don't have to do anything under there, apart from putting new lubricant in it, that's all I need to do with that, and that's all it has to be done. It doesn't even need cleaning. That's mint. Uh, and it's numbered as N9, whatever that meant. Even look at these here. Yeah, look, look. Look at all, look at those grommets. There's no dirt on them. They're beautiful. You know. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. It made young George a bit envious. I won't tell you what he called me, but it was a you lucky yes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I won't say it. Well, actually, call me a lucky bastard. <laughs> and this idler, right? This is the idler off the unit, and look at this. It's still dead pliable, and there's no shininess. This, this is a good record player now, and it's been well cared for as well. Now, oh, the, the lady I bought this off, I, I gave her twenty pounds. She wanted £29 on eBay, but uh, I, you know, the, for the photographs that she took, although there was plenty of them, and they were at all different angles and stuff like that, and she explained it very well, you know, the photographs they were just a bit too dark, and they made this look like worse than what it is. You know, they made the deck look really dirty and manky, and it's not. They made the case look well. Here, yeah, the, the case, yeah, it's uh, on the it's on the other side of manky, but doable. It'll come up. It'll respond to a clean. I'm sure of it because it's the only dust that's on it. It's only only really dust is hopefully not probably not even ground in. It's got the original trim on it and everything, and it's all that's happened is the, the, the way it says bush, and it tells you what the controls do. The trim's peeled off there. Well, all I'll do, I'll, I'll just get my double-sided tape out, uh, cut a piece the same length and width, and I'll just stick it back on. But you got to be careful doing them because uh, they break around where the light, where the jewel comes out for the light. So I might, I might even just glue it because uh, I don't want to take it off because uh, I don't want to ruin such a lovely piece of trim. Uh, the hinges are probably the hinges and clasps 
probably need to replace. I'll probably have to put my hand in my pocket. And uh, I've said that too, and I may, you know, I, I did actually say to her, like, you know, that, uh, you know, the the record player business isn't what it was, and you know, you know, we're not getting. Let me just get me a bottle of stuff. You know, the prices that you know we're just not getting. Uh, the prices that we used to get for these things. I mean, you, you see them on eBay, a uh, hundred and two hundred pound. They're not getting that for them. I've seen the same players on there for weeks, or, you know, weeks on at a weeks at a time. I've seen the same ones on there for ages. So while I'm talking to you, I may as well get some work done, might I? And look at this. This is going to be my one of my personal players. I am not selling this. So don't even ask, and that there, I hope that comes off because it's a mark, and I've got a feeling that's just got there, I didn't see that a second ago, oh yeah it rubs off, it's just a shit mark, just a, sort of like a mark where, uh, you know, where, But uh, you know she wanted uh, she wanted twenty nine pounds, but I managed to chip her down uh, to uh, twenty. I offered her twenty because I told her, and she agreed. You know, uh, basically, you know, when she turned up, you know, she said perhaps for t perhaps twenty nine was a bit too much, but it, it wasn't really. I mean, you know, looking at the photographs, then you'd think, oh, I'll give you know, I'll pay twenty for it, but. If I'd have seen it in the flesh, I would have given her all the money. You know, I would have, I would have, uh, I wouldn't have haggled because I think it was worth what she was asking. But uh, you know, she was a lovely lady. She delivered it for me. I gave her, you know, she wanted, she just, she just said, give us a couple of quid for me fuel, and I gave her four quid. I would have given her five, but only I didn't have one. Uh, so I get I get I gave her four pound, and you know she was telling me about uh, you know she used to play her records on it when she was young. It belonged to her father. This, and I think she I think I think to be honest, she'd be pretty keen to see it running again. You know, doing what it was meant to do. Uh, you know, she actually advertised it for, you know, uh, maybe suitable for breaking for parts. It's too good for that. Good little unit, and it's uh, certainly not going to, that's not going to happen to it. Not while I've got it, anyway. You know, and. You know, but I, I knew as soon as I saw this deck. Even in the pictures, I knew when I saw this deck, I knew this deck would clean up lovely. See, I've got a nose for these sort of things. I can, you know, I can tell whether something can't be cleaned up or whatever. I can, you know, I, I usually have a a good idea, you know. But you know, unlike a lot of people, I get the idea before I spend my money. Well, saying that. I bought that fucking dog of a Decker compact four, didn't I? Uh, which I, I bought really as a project, uh, just to get it going. And then I got it going, and I rebuilt the auto changer out of it again to show you how it was done, the way it should be done. And uh, after I did that, I reduced it to its component parts, the auto changer. Is now in that uh, Van der Molen and working happily. And I'll tell you what, you know, this this unit, this changer, folks, is cleaning up. I'm going to get a towel to put this on when I've cleaned it. This is cleaning up unbelievably good. Look at that. I've got in there to do yet. But look at that.
What a lovely deck this is. I hope it works as good as it looks. That needs a bit of grease on it. I hope it, I hope it, I hope it works as good as it looks. I mean, it looks brilliant now and it's not even doing anything. See, this was stuck on 78 when I got it. And, uh, you know, like I was saying, it was the, it belonged to her father. And she was saying that she fondly remembers uh, playing records on it, playing her records on it when she was a kid. And then it was retired to the loft then. Obviously, they went for a hi-fi or something. So, you know, the poor little bush got retired. I'm glad it did, because if it didn't, I wouldn't have it here now. So, you know, I'm glad that somebody saw sense and says, Hey, put that in the loft. You know, some big fat fucker might own it one day. And yes, that's true to do me. You know, I'm glad that I'm glad that some people do have brains. You know, some people do have a bit of sense to see that something might be might become, you know, uh, of interest to somebody in the future. I mean, there's no. I thought when I saw this in the pictures, I thought there was a rust spot on the deck here, but there's not. I'm trying to go as fast as I can with this because, you know, uh, you don't want to sit and listen to me yapping, mind you, some people do, some people love to listen to me talk. Uh, right. I don't want to get anything on the electrics, so I'm being careful. And I'll tell you what I did do on my Ferguson's uh, record player. This turntable break here, I took it out, uh, clipped it off. The reason why is because I got fed up every turn, got fed up every time it finished the record, it going bong, well, going ding. You know, you weren't sure if your record had finished or your dinner was done. Right, that's probably not going to come out there because I'll have to get the cotton bud in there. But we'll get to... But we'll get the majority of the shit out that we can get. But this is actually... A very, very, very well cared for unit. I mean, when this was in operation, when this was being used, it was looked after. There's no two ways about that. This hasn't been abused in any way. This is really, I mean, I mean, it's not being, not, it's not, You know, it's not been banged around unnecessarily or anything. It's just really a very, 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 very honest little old little record player. And it's got the usual faults you expect to find with these, like a Duff Recky and stuff. You know, you get the usual, the usual hiccups. But, uh... There's nothing that we can't sort out here at Vintage Electronics Repair. I mean, I did that deck out of that Ferguson and that was a... Fuck, I said that was a radiogram. My mistake, it was a stereo record player. But what a fucking pain in the ass to do that. That was a real pain in the ass. I mean, I mean, there's bits of dirt on here still, but like hairs and stuff, I'm not too mad about that. But... Uh, because what I'll do, I'll get, I'll get a polishing cloth out later and I'll give, it a, I'll give it a good buff up, you see. And this deck is actually... Do you know, I thought the deck in Lawrence's over there was nice. Because that's why I'm not doing it all, because you saw me do his the other night. You know, you saw me working on his. And at the end of the day... Uh, I, don't, I don't really do that, but this is 
this is worth worth showing you because it's worth working on. I don't know whether the electrostatic speaker works because we're only getting 70 volts to it, so or thereabouts. So I'll need to find out. And I won't know that until I get full voltage. I hope it is. It'd be nice if it is. If it is, it'd be the first one I've ever come across that, that does. If it's not well, you can't have everything, can you? Eh? So, I was saying that to George earlier, you know, if it doesn't, because he asked me that, does it, was it running? And I said, I don't, I don't think it is now. But that could be because there's low voltage, low HT. But we'll soon find out. But, like I said to George, you can't have everything. I mean, I would never moan about it. I've got the thing cheap enough. I mean, it's... I've practically nicked it from them, really, but... I wanted to look at that actually because there's a spring missing on Lawrence's and I just couldn't see where but because uh, he said the fellow who abused his gave him a spring but gave him two springs now one of them's out of this because that's sprung loaded now Lawrence's auto mechanism doesn't always work, now I know why, I'll have a look on this while I'm under it, see where the spring goes, and I can do Lawrence's, when he comes back I can just quickly undo it, but I'll put, I'll put if I've got a spring the same I'll put one in, save me, on, save me undoing it, when he's here, now let's get the polished cloth, now what we're going to do now, we're going to go, over the record player with this cloth and this will take off any of the shit this is a microfiber cloth go over the whole record player with this the whole deck just basically see I didn't want to use this at first because I didn't want to dirty my cloth I didn't want to ruin my cloth you see no. that this is near, this is almost ready for its service right I've, cleared, I've already cleaned that right and the mats in the mat the turntable mats even good on it and all you know folks there's no no gunge you know the mat hasn't turned turned to gone rock hard or in the opposite extremes, it hasn't turned to gunge. Let me get me, uh, let's get me, there's my brush for me paste and for me grease and stuff. And I've already got me oil down here. I only use grease and oil. Uh, I should have me oil down here. I've never put it away, so it's got to be on the table somewhere, on the desk or bench somewhere. Uh, we'll find it in a minute because we'll need it. There it is. There we go. Get the grease ready to go. Now let's get me cotton buds because I want to go around the inner rim there where I couldn't get in with the cloth just get any excess dirt and get and get 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 into where you know just basically there you see and there isn't any dirt there it's all I mean I, I don't expect any dirt oh yeah there is a lot there's a bit of dirt coming off but Squirt a bit of this detergent into this bowl that the cotton buds go on the top of because I can get rid of it later. Just I don't want to get it all over the record player because I've just cleaned the damn thing.
I mean, these SRP 3031s, they weren't cheap when they were new either. I mean, they were quite an expensive player. And, you know, they were dearer than the, they were dearer than the dance set, really, and they were fucking better than the dance set. Dance sets are shit. they crap. The only time a dance set's any good is when I was selling one. I mean, you're not going to tell people your own products are crap. Well, they're not your own products, are they? But the product you're selling, you're hardly going to say, well, no, you know, I wouldn't bother. Mind you, I have told some people I wouldn't fucking have one of them. they crap. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll we'll get get my glasses on, I'm going to need them. And what I want to do is get down into the ball race here. Get some grease on the balls. There we go. There we go. See, we've got some grease on them balls now. Oh, you get here. Bloody. Mechanism keeps operating, that's it. Yeah, we've got grease on there. So it's taking all that bloody part. Just put a little bit on, on this little, little bit on the surfaces here. Don't put any on that there because that's electrical contact. That's just wipe that off there. See, look at the grease hasn't even gone hard on some of this. Look at that. Now, uh, that's all okay. Right, because I'm not going to grease the idler, I've got a bit of oil on that. So now let's do the speed change mechanism, because we know that does need doing. And I do grease that, I do put a bit of grease on the speed change mechanism. top there and just a bit on the spring there we go and that's working now so we can prop this up by the back yes I can just uh, now let's get the let's get the old grease wipes off I mean the grease hasn't even gone out, it's on its way, but uh, is that there supposed to move? Because that looks like it's supposed to move and it looks like it's fucking solid. Just see. No. It's not supposed to move. Right, so. Oops. Right, so. I mean, there's not a lot of crap on here. We haven't even got to get the IPA out yet. Because all the old grease is just wiping off. Uh, I want to come back a bit because no, we're all, no, we're, all, we're okay. I thought there was more there. No, we're okay. So let's go round here. Whoops. Let's turn that round. I mean, I haven't even had to get the IPA out. That shows you something. I 
I mean the grease still here, look at that. Still soft, hasn't gone hard. So this has been kept in good conditions. I think so. And believe you me. I've seen them gunged. Honestly folks, I've seen these in a right mess. Right, so. There we go. I thought there was a bit I didn't get. I've just got a screwdriver into there. Just get that bit out of there. That's it. Right, so what I'll do now, I'll get me get my grease tin. Now where's my brush? I want to look at where that uh, springs from. I know where it's from. It's from there. Only his doesn't extend all the way back there like mine. His is stiff. His is different. So it might have a spring missing. But his is different to mine. pick up wires out of the way so they don't get chewed up in the mechanism. Right, so Okay, let's get a bit of dab on there, a dab on there, dip dab. Let's get a bit of Is left to do so let's check the mechanism by hand see if it works because there's not really a lot of it to lubricate it's pretty much done so it should, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it's going to work It stays on. Yeah, no, it's gone off. Right, 
Right, so. Oh, it will go off, won't it? No record. It will go off, there's no bloody record. Right, so if I just get a record. Swings across, record down, arm across, record playing, staying in play mode so it's not going off. So, now record finish, make sure that, yes, yeah, that's, that's all nice and loose, I'll give all that polish, that's all nice and loose so Record finished. Yeah, record finished. There we go, it catches that. Brings the arm back to its rest. And off and free wheel. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to oil the centre bearing here. Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to have to let it go around now. And it's difficult now because it's going dead slippy. Oh. Right. Right, so we'll now get a bit on the... Uh, we don't want any on the turntable boss there. So what we'll do, we don't want any on that because we want that to be... I uh, will clean that. We don't lubricate that because we want it to have that bit of friction. That's supposed to have a bit of friction. So when the pickup arm moves across, there we go. Right. Now I'll lubricate the top motor bearing if I can get into it. I mean the better the motor doesn't need lubricating but now I'll give you a tip on how to lubricate a motor if you can't get in. You do you get a screwdriver. The fucking airs there, there we go. Let's get this fucking airs out. You know, some of these, some of these airs have probably been in here for years. Now what I'll do now, I'll let the, I'll let the, the oil, whoops. There you are. A little bit does get spilt, but we got it in. So just turn the bearing. I will clean all that in a minute, but I just want to clean the excess. Now, let's check the speed change knob because all this lot now, this is all going back together again, so we'll check the speed change knob works. It does. We'll Put the fibre washer back on.
for the idler. We'll pop the idler back into place. We'll Fibre washer on. Sixteen, thirty three, five, seventy eight. But uh, yeah, go on, I'm going gonna, gonna to tack the video uh, that I sent to Young George. I'm going to tack that onto the beginning of this so you can see the player. Right, and this. And that needs to be adjusted because that. It's too high. And the way you adjust these is you undo the screws on the motor pulley and then what you do put it in start put it in start Come on. I want it a bit more. Might be, bit, might be better with that one. Oops. Well, that's check that there. Let's get that somewhere. About there. Check the thirty three. Yep. Yeah. Forty As far as I'm concerned, that's okay. Right, sixteen. Yep, and seventy eight. Yep, that's all right. We've got to put a new pickup in it. Not done that yet. Give that a bit of a.
spray that bit of oil grease off there. Whoops. There we go. Yeah. Spot on. Now, just double check under here. Make sure that everything moves freely. Here. That should do it. Don't take a lot. I mean, there's not a lot. Don't take a lot to do. I mean, that's pretty much done. Now let's get me cloth. And you know, so with the idlers, I'm good. I don't even need to use a rubber renew. This idler is brilliant, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it. That's all it needs. drive drum a wipe out. Right, let's make sure that this is all turned off. There we go. Oh, it's clean. The middle out of there. And I'll clean the turntable mat once it's back on the machine. that to there we go Okay, that for a minute I thought it was operating when it should do, open the mechanism when it shouldn't. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll lift the control, move the control arm, we'll lift the what most people call the overarm. I'm not doing any more videos tonight folks, uh, I'll do the chassis, probably do the, probably do the rec repair and the rectifier probably tomorrow or something. But I'm not doing that tonight because I'm a bit tired. The only, the only bit of slight bit of mess I found on this old, old deck, that little bit there, little tiny bit. Yeah, but there's a very good reason why I've not done a full video on stripping it down and stuff because I don't want to keep showing you that sort of thing. You know, because you, you've seen me do it. You don't need to see me do it every time I do it. You know. There we go. And that's the mat lovely as well. Right, what we'll do, we'll get the... Uh, We'll get the IEC lead and we will connect the turntable. Neutral. Live. Why do I know that? Because it's printed on the IEC lead itself. Which one's which? So what we'll see, we'll see how good this idler really is and see if my speed adjustments is right. 
But bear in mind, I have been known to get it slightly wrong before today, but... That's good and tight. Oh, I'm having trouble stopping that. 33, 45, and 78. And where's my little clip? Don't say I've lost my clip, that did it. No. Put that back on in a minute. Right, let's test it for set down point. Let's turn it over because even though there's no there's a stylus in there, so turn that off. And we're on 40 to 45. I don't need to check it for set down point on all of them, if it was right on one, it would be right on them all. Yep. Yeah. God man, that doesn't even need an amplifier, does it? I say, I'll say that every time. Oh, <laughs> I think we better test it again now, aren't we, folks? I mean, the only thing I found on here is that little bit of corrosion on the turntable, which is not bad. Right, so what we'll do, we'll test it again. Because I sort of buggered up my test there, didn't I? There we go. Right, I'll move it prematurely on. That feels heavy, that, you know. You can't move it prematurely on, you get so far it goes off. Right, let's try again. That needle's fucked. We'll get the scales in it and check how, how, how heavy it is. Yep, yeah. it's got to the end. Come on, lift off. Yep, yeah, perfect. It works and it doesn't clang like the other one either. see what the weight is could do a bit of a lube down the arm ten fucking hell ten grams right at the end of its travel. Ten grams. I noticed some of it before. That the 
adjuster has been bent up. Oops. I don't know who bent the adjuster up, but it's been bent up. So. Because. Stuck solid. Is that supposed to be bent up there? I don't think that is, you know. Let me just turn the plug off. Uh, might be supposed to be. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to be bent up there. have to do it here. Take the spring off. Whoops. Take the head off, it's easier to manage. I mean it's foot anyway. But that's not moving. So what I'm going to have to do. I have to take the bar out fucking flies doing my head in and take the bar out and take the arm off and have a look at that Now, let's have a look. Oh, that's why. It's full of rust in there. Right, let's get some oil. It's full of rust in there, folks. Uh, that's why it won't. That's why it won't work. It's full of fucking rust. They're all coming through the top now. So what we'll do, we'll wind it that way first. Fully one way and go fully the other way. Get me cloth and... Now if I go Perfect Just need to free it off and That's as far as it goes I 
Those are some done. What the fuck's that? Oh, I know what that is. It's out of the arm. It goes in the pack. It goes in there to pack it out. that winds fully out and it's supposed to do that like that right well that's right fully out which would fully tension the spring and fully in That's how it works. Now, uh, I don't even know which way it's fucking in the way back in. Huh. I don't suppose it matters. Uh, well, I remember the outside of it being groove so I think that's the way it goes. Now it's just making sure that we if I work and do Can that go in that way? Yeah, it can. It can go in that way and all, so it might be easier to. Right, crisis averted, folks. I found it all. The pin was down there. The the the, the, the spacer or insert. Whatever. Mm. That would have been a real shame, wouldn't it, folks? To lose something from a deck as pristine as this one because it really is a nice it is really in nice condition it would have been a real shame to have not found that but I found it I have trouble getting this back in I have trouble getting it back in on that other fucker side in if 
push that up further back there in case I drop the fucking thing. Because that only goes as far as there. See, I can just jiggle it with the pliers because there. There we go. Push that back. Push that back into there. Folks, now I've got to get the fucking screw back into there. Yeah, this is gonna take some fucking doing, but I undone it too much, I think, and it wound it out too far. And it came out, and it's gonna be a bastard. But if I can hold it like that, hold the arm up. Right. That's winding out now, folks. Let's try and get this. There we go. Put the cartridge back on. Wherever I've put the cartridge. <laughs> now. Now that can't be far. It's a bloody great big thing like that. It's a bloody great big chunky thing. That can't be that far. Come on, where did I put you? But the problem is, you see, when you're looking for something, you get flummoxed. You move things about. And... shift things there it is you don't you don't realize there we go oh now let's see if we can set the weight That's as, that's at its extremes. Uh, put the scales back on. Put that pretty much in the centre. Uh, Three point four. That's like it's heaviest. Fucking hell, it won't go any heavier than three grams. It needs to be heavier because I want it to. to if it doesn't track in at that, at that, 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 I mean there is actually, put my glasses on, it's probably even not the right fucking spring that's on this, 
because it's the, the springs on the second hole I can move out to the in fact actually There we go. The spring had got caught down there. Now you'll find it's fucking heavier. Let's try that. Oh fucking hell, it's like a brick. Right. Fifteen grams. Could you imagine folks? Playing your records with 15 grams of play weight. Could you imagine doing that? Let's make sure we're right in the middle. There we go. 15.79. So that's 13. Nine. Seven. Are we going to run out before we get there? Six. Here yeah, we are. We've run out. We have to move on to the next hole down. Yeah, we have to move on to the next hole down. We've run out of. We've run out of adjustment. So it's got to go on the bottom hole. Which is not a problem. Try that. It is designed to be moved, so we're all right. There we go. Now, oops, there we go. Oh, we're on nine grams now, and we're all the way down. So that's that's a better result. Six. Five. And we're still plenty of a scope, scope for adjustment. Three. There we can actually we can actually float now. Three. Five, four, point seven somewhere. Four point four. I'm going to set it to dead on four. We're in the middle. 3.55 4 point that's about as best as I'm going to get it going to get it 408 that'll do that's 4.8 grams now now let's uh, now I've got this as well folks this is an actual an actual Garrard stylus gauge and what you do you put your stylus on it you put your stylus in the pan and what you do you press the lever down And when the, when this part here is in the middle, with those two bars that are printed molded on the plastic, there we are. In, in between, in between five and zero grams. Yeah, just in, just just before the five. So I'd say four. 
Whoo wee. Fancy losing that bar. Find it though. Right. Now let's uh, do a test. Make sure that the arm comes off the record when it's finished playing. Oops. Let's just find the motor lead. Connect the motor back up. Turn that on. Right. I like the way that if you forget to unlock the arm, it does it for you. Right, so. There we go. Make sure the tone arm wires are not hanging up anywhere. No, they're okay. Look how good that deck is. Ooh. Let's move it on a bit. Oh, it's too fucking hell. That's too sensitive, that. I'll have to do it again. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, fucking hell. One more. There, I'll leave it there. That sounds shit because the stylus is fucked. But I'll tell you what folks, I'm pretty pleased with that deck. I'll do the I'll, I'll do the case tomorrow. Uh, well I'll either do the case or the amp. I might do the case tomorrow and save the amp. Do the amp on Sunday. Because as I say, I'm going to be keeping this uh, this uh, SRP thirty one C for myself. Because I've been after, I've been, I've been in the market for another one for a long time, but none's appeared. And when they do, you know, someone always outbids me and pays a stupid price. And uh, you know, I don't know how long this one had been on there. I bet it hadn't been on there long, because. Uh, uh, I bought it as soon as I seen it. Well, I made an offer on it as soon as I seen it, and the offer was accepted. Just goes to show you. Yeah. Yeah, it did pull back a bit, but I'll take into account that the stylus is fucked, and uh, 
I also forgot because I need to oil the arm. I need to oil the, the arm bearing so. I need to get some oil into that bearing there. Let's, let's pull the plug out. There we go. That's gonna be that's gonna to prove to be some challenge in it. Right, where's my oil? Waldo. Waldo, I'll let it run. Down there. Oops, there we go. And then the There we are. That creaking that was there is immediately gone. Yep. Yeah. That creaking's gone because it was making a creaking noise and that's gone. Get the turntable mat on, because, uh, clip on because I've had a bit of bad luck with them clips just lately. They've been losing the bastard and things. I lost the one off me Ferguson. It's in here somewhere, but can I find it? Can I look? There. I ain't fucking losing that one. No, I ain't fucking even. Is that it? That should be it. Now I'll oil the bottom of the bearing and then get into it. Just there we go. Just there. Just there. There we go. I hope the creaking to come back, there we go. It's supposed to be a little bit of play in that and there isn't. supposed to go through that fucking hole no it's not no that's a screw no it locks on locks onto there yeah right give that a good polish tomorrow uh the polish out tomorrow there's a mark on the head there I don't know what that is it was there when I got it there still you can't expect it to be perfect can you There we go folks, and there we have it, the Garrard Model 210 from the late 50s.
all sorted and ready to go back in. Thanks for watching folks and more will come later.